Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new <laughs> brand new video, brand new month. We're in June already. Well, you guys are. I'm filming this just before June. I'm actually going away this weekend. So by the time you're watching this, I am actually on a hendo in Palma. So very exciting. And today I thought I need to get organized, get prepped and start packing for the trip. So we could do that together. I can show you what I'm taking with hand luggage as well. Myself and my mum, we are traveling from Manchester. We're actually meeting the other girls there because um, they're all flying from Leeds, but I live so close to Manchester Airport that mum and I, we just decided to travel together from Manchester, meet them there and yeah. So we're gonna spend a couple of days in Palmer. So if you want to, I'm not gonna vlog the trip. I don't, I don't obviously know a lot of the people going, but I will obviously show you what I'm taking and then I'm sure I'll be posting stuff on Instagram. So if you do want to see any like updates of what we've been up to, then head on over to my Instagram. So that is the plan for today's video. I want to pop out this morning to uh, Boots actually, because I want to just stock up on, <laughs> Um. When I say that this guy knows where the camera is, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> oh, oh you snuggle monster. Although you're a little bit wet from this morning's walk. I felt like we were spoiled with the weather when it was sunny. And then, although to be fair, I was going to say, and then now we've got the rain. It's actually beneficial for us because we have had the turf now put down. I'll show you that actually. We'll go downstairs and I'll show you the... Garden updates. He's sitting on my lap. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a couple of little garden updates to share with you. Nothing too drastic, I don't think. Um, we've got, well, yeah, I'll show you when we go outside. But yeah, that's today's plan. I think Tom and I, we're going to go for a bit of a run later as well. We'll take you as well, mister. Um, and then we really want tonight to just have a really nice chilled pizza pasta night we might go to um there's rudy's that we could go get a pizza got some pasta in the fridge that we could cook up maybe a bit of a salad so a nice chilled night tonight find a couple of movies and just yeah have a nice cozy night in especially when it is a bit more miserable it's all the more guilt-free cozy evening vibes when it's raining outside but that's on today's agenda hope you guys are all doing well let me know if you've got any trips planned for this month next month we actually have a holiday next month as well we're going to cos in july it's going to be one of those holidays that is an is a chill and i feel like i've not done that in a really long time hold on i need to sneeze yeah i'm really looking forward to that holiday it's going to be take a book relax maybe even a couple of books catch a tan in and out the pool, cooling off, just staying in the hotel basically. So I'm so looking forward to that. So before we get out my suitcase and start a little bit of packing, I am going to head to Boots. I'm gonna see what toiletries I already have and then I need to stock up on a couple of travel minis. A couple of things that I wanna do in prep of going away as well. I want to see if I can get, um, you know like, is it Ilior that do the eye, brow dye that you can use on your lashes just obviously with it limited with the hand luggage in terms that's the only thing with hand luggage it's not the space in the case that's the issue for me it's the little toiletry bag i find by the time you've added in all your makeup and your toiletries even if they are minis <laughs> it's like the ziploc bag is really sealed but like crammed full um, but then we can always get like sun cream and stuff we could get that there maybe but anyway, we'll see what Boots has and um, I'll take you guys with me for the trip. Hey, I heard you got a new best friend. Yeah, it hurts a bit. I won't pretend that it doesn't matter that you're with someone else. Mm. In a way, that's how it's supposed to be. If I'm unable to make you happy, then it's for the better. You are not with me. 
thought I would just show you. I've mentioned this recently in a vlog and I've tried out, which is the one I've tried, Fenty Amber. So they've got Amber Suede, Suede-ish, oh, Soft Amber. No, the one that I've got is just Standard Amber. Um, maybe they've not got it here in just Amber, but love it absolutely love it so yeah if you can get your hands on the amber shade and if you're similar coloring to me i would highly highly recommend from fenty beauty i don't think i've ever seen these before but very interesting i've seen them from different brands but not color wow like root cover-ups which is like a little powder with a brush that obviously you can use to fill in grays you can use for like sparse areas which is probably how i would use it like here where i thin a little bit on my hairline to thicken it up interesting do i get this to try hmm i think i'd go with dark blonde probably okay i found the travel minis and my goodness they have loads obviously three for two as well so i'm thinking i might pick up a couple of things love this toothpaste although i do already have a travel one of these so i don't need a toothpaste to take with me um what other good bits are there to take shampoos and conditioners i do have like a couple of samples but quite often i'll see if they've got like the purple shampoos um just as like yeah like something like this just for that extra double shampoo um what else oh mini dry shampoos these are an absolute essential for me brands this monday moisturizer is this one of my favorite and it's good because it's um face body and hands so just a good classic to take away with you oh, what brand's this ted baker little body spray frank body um coffee scrub they've even got like bioma here inculist oh toothbrush i could do with maybe taking a little travel toothbrush with me since when i've skinny dip done uh, body care i had no idea it's kind of giving me throwback memories to using what was the brand that we always used oh there we go soap and glory and they've got their own brand that they do which is very much like duping the white company they've got some like joe malone dupe scents they've got candles they're all in the sale as well this one indian island it's a bit like the seychelles scent that candle is six pounds they even do um gifting so they've got like blanket dressing gown hot water bottle and slippers as well what are these oh little socks back in the car like overdraw my lip line a little too low on my bottom lip today anyway my little boots haul i have got a couple of things for holiday bits which i'll share with you when i get home but non-holiday specific items that i wanted to show you should we do a little haul i went through before i came out i went through all my minis and i have actually got quite a few bits um already for holiday so that's good didn't need to pick up too many bits but a couple of things that i did see in there that i thought i would share with you i would just got some wax strips because these are for bikini but underarms i've never waxed under my arms before and then i also picked up what now what was on offer it was this so this was the Eyelid or dye brow that I wanted to try just to tint my lashes. I'm not sure I'll do my brows. I might just do a little bit and then just quickly take them off. But my brows are like a dark blonde. But if ever you buy like dark blonde colours, I find them quite warm toned. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try this on my lashes. I just it, there's a mascara wand in there, so I just kind of put them on my lashes a little bit on the bottom as well, and then just leave them for how long? Under 15 minutes lasts up to six weeks and you get up to 12 applications within here and that's for your brows so probably loads more for just your lashes and then they run off a buy one get one half price so i decided to pick up these you know i do my at home diy gel nails well i have a cuticle pusher backer but this actually can trim the cuticles as well so i hate having this done at the salon but i think doing it myself it'll be easier so uh yeah i decided to pick up that they were about eight pounds each so one made one of them four pounds i picked up a hula bronzer my old one ran out and i do have like a mini laguna from nars but the fact that it's like a mini it'd be perfect for holiday but day to day i prefer a slightly wider pan and they've changed the packaging since my last one they don't have the brush and in in here anymore so it's thinner 
So it felt like quite a lot of money for what feels like a mini, even though it's not a mini. £32 that one, but I do really like it. It's a really nice, cool toned bronze. They do have the warmer ones, the Hula Caramel and the Hula Toasted, but that one for me, the original, is a perfect. This I've been on the hunt for. A couple of places I've been to I haven't had this one in stock. They've had Optrex um, eye drops, but not the for dull eyes. Hold on, you're slowly but surely going further and further up. Let me just rejiggy there. So this is for dull eyes, for dazzling eyes in an instant. So you pop these in for um, brightening and whitening your eyes. So I tend to get quite bloodshot eyes and I think it's because I'm contact lens wearer. I can get quite dry eyes. So you can't use this, well they say don't use it with contact lens. I'm not sure why, I, I, it probably wouldn't do anything. But what I'll do probably with these is when I take my contacts out at night, pop a couple of drops in, hopefully, we're gonna wake up with bright white eyes. Speaking of gel nails, I did also see that Miley have gel nail polish in there. Why is it so hard to just buy gel polish? Why do you have to be a pro with like a certificate to get Biab or anything like that? It always baffles me as to why you have to have certification to get that nail polish. Um, but anyway, they do do gel nail polish shops, so you can buy them online and stuff. But anyway, I picked up these colours because I thought this one looked beautiful. Again, these run off for buy one, get one half price. This one is called Caramel, and that is like a perfect kind of brownie shade for me, especially in the autumn months. I might give that a whirl for the Hendu as a nice kind of holiday. It's called Kiss the Bride, this set. Oh, it's, a, it's actually a duo. This gel polish duo will have you all prepped for this special occasion. Not me, but I will. Spot the obligatory shiny cream garter for luck, then move on to the shimmery warmth of your wedding night. Apply on nails and cure with a lamp for 30 to 60 seconds. If I'm honest with you, the main one that I was going for... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay, garter is the yeah like a very very pale pinky white and then this one is in wedding night so again this one has the shimmer in it let's see if you'll be able to see it really pretty see what i end up going for but i won't do my gel nails for we're going in three days so i'll probably do that the day before we go i'll do my nails but anyway let's head back home tom has said that he is going to prep us a we've got a fresh baguette from the bakery so we've got um tomato mozzarella for our salad tonight but we're actually going to have that in a sandwich in a baguette this morning well this morning this lunchtime it's nearly one o'clock so we're going to have that as a nice like little light bite lunch before our pizza pasta night tonight. Just come around the back before heading inside just so I can show you the grass that's down. So yeah, it's obviously, it still needs to like bond together, but we are welcoming any rain so that we don't have to get the sprinkler out all the time. And then obviously at that section over there, we've got the graveled area. That's ready pretty much now to start. Um, I mean, we can't really be walking on this all the time but we could actually put the fire pit over there pop a couple of seats out when the weather's nice and actually enjoy that little space uh i guess we could even think about doing some planting i'm just kind of waiting for a, a couple of weeks really just to let this grass set before we're meant to be walking on it it'll need a cut by that point as well so but yeah all looking good and much fresher, greener, brighter, and I love it. That's why I wrote you a letter, cause you see, I write so much better than I speak, and I need to tell you, you... Okay, delicious lunch has been consumed. Now it's time to crack on and stop procrastinating. <laughs> Actually get on with some packing, some organizing. Just doing a little pile next to, well, in my other room, just so that I know what it is that I want. Uh, oh, I was gonna get some euros out and I totally forgot whilst I was out, because I don't really want to have to do it at the airport, because they charge. 
I don't normally get euros out. You know, if it's just like Tom and I going anywhere, we'll just um, pay card with everything. But just in case taxi monies and girls trips, we need to like split costs and it's just easier cash. I thought it might be quite good just to have at least some cash. This is my little, I've got a little wallet of leftover change from my previous trip which again only will ever have about five euros in it i've got five six seven yeah literally like 10 euros hmm maybe we will have to pay a visit to somewhere tomorrow to get that cash out not to worry uh passport and date just pop some uh, joggers on as well because i feel like i need to be comfortable when i'm packing but also i might do some trying on of a couple of things for different outfits and plans on what it is that i want to wear i know that i'm going to take these curlers and a pair of tangle teasers these are my curves so these are just like a generic classic wand that i'll take both my mum and i will use this and she's taking a hair dryer i almost feel like because packing for just hand luggage is harder than taking a big case even though you'd think it'd be easier because there's less to think about it's actually harder to really think about exactly what it is that you need I need to go and get suitcase as well from upstairs i'll go grab that now because tom used it last it's actually his suitcase but i'm just going to take take his because it's a good one nice and easy mine's a bit flimsy on the old legs okay first outfit that i'm going to take is this dress which i picked up from tk maxx but it's originally hollister it's like a little cowl neck satiny silky cross back and quite a low back as well actually like a cowl back as well um little mini dress hollister in a large should i try these bits on the only thing is, is i've not got like any tan on because that's another thing that i need to do tomorrow or the day after probably is fake tan before we go away i'll show you them anyway just don't judge that i've not got any tan on so here we go this is the size i'm hoping this is ryanair size in fact it will be because when we went to seville tom took this one and we flew ryanair so yeah that's fine oops okay. we're in Let me, I'll try on that dress actually so you can see outfit number one. You're over there. So outfit number one, like I said, we've got this little mini dress and for our first night that we get there, the theme is sparkle sequins type theme. So I did look out for some dresses that had a bit of sparkle. I did have an option, but it, I felt it was a bit too scratchy. So I've decided to go with a simple black see the low back it's really pretty but just simple little mini dress with these sparkly bits from zara i'll leave everything that i can that's online linked below but these are the heels that i went for and i just love them i think for christmas dues they'll be really pretty they're a nice heel height they're taller than a kitten but obviously very wearable and they are like cushioned on the like they're padded here, so nice and comfortable. They are designed as a sling back, but you can also just wear them over the foot like that. Paired with it, I've just got this sparkly bag, which comes with a little insert, if I just show you, uh, to pop any kind of, um, I don't know, like little bits of lipstick, purse, coins, or whatever in there. So a nice little shoulder bag. But yeah, this is my little outfit for sparkle night and outfit number two is for the daytime day two we are going to a beach club and we have a dress code of black swimwear black swimsuits so um i'm assuming bride will be in white in fact where is oh this is why I'm, good thing i'm packing in advance so that i can see i can find everything i had um a drawer reorganized here <laughs> And it's like I'm just losing where I put things. Okay, so swimwear. Oh, I've got a couple of cover-up options. I forgot about these. The only thing is, is whether or not we can wear non-black cover-ups. So for actual black swimwear, I've got a couple of options. We have from 
white fox, this bikini, which I haven't worn yet. I was thinking of saving this for cos, little bikini. And the reason being is because the bottoms especially, they're quite skimpy, like you can see how skimpy they are. So I'm thinking couples holiday rather than um, mums and everyone there at a hen do. So I think I'm gonna wear my other option, which is my black Hansa G swimsuit. It's just simple, one size fits all with these, super stretchy. For cover-ups, I've got this, from Primark, but then again, should I be wearing a black cover-up as well? I know my mum's got a black, well, she's actually got two black um, skirts, like, well, like sarongs. So she says she's like just plain, simple linen sarongs in black. So she says she's gonna bring both of those so that if I want to wear black, I can. This is also Primark. I thought this was more of a dress, but it's not, it's still cover-up. Oh yeah, that could be an option. So we could maybe take that one and i'm only going to take the one swimsuit because even though we're going to have a pool day at the hotel the final day and not beach club just for packing oh we're not even in focus for convenience and space and everything i am just going to stick with the one swimsuit whilst i'm in this drawer which is my underwear drawer i'm just going to get a few undies out have you seen that TikTok of it's just made me chuckle I kind of relate to it because I when I pack underwear for some reason even though I'm going for a couple of nights I always seem to pack loads and it was like this guy saying so we've got one pair for the Friday one for the Saturday I'm back home on the Sunday so I'll take a spare pair and then some more in case I shit myself because <laughs> it's literally like who needs that amount of underwear for two days. And PJs, I'm guessing it'll be warm. Well, shall I take a robe to get ready in or is that a bit excessive? I've got this nice linen dressing gown, although it's a bit scrumpled out. I've got a linen or a satin one. Mm, probably don't need them, do I, if I'm limited on space. I'll take these ones, these little black piped shorts and kind of shirt, t-shirt set again from Primark. Whilst I'm here, this is my kind of workout section as well because we are doing the final morning. I think we're doing yoga, beach yoga, which actually is a bit of me. I thought we could take some yoga socks and then I'll take a couple of trainer socks in case I prefer them. And then I'll wear trainers. And then in my top drawer, let's see what yoga clothes am I gonna wear for beach front yoga. This is my little white a line tank from Lululemon. I think just shorts. Beach front yoga, it's gonna be warm, isn't it? I have these ones from Lululemon, but they're a bit, they're a size four and they're a little bit snug for me. So four, six, eight UK size, which you can size down in the aligned leggings, but a six is better for me, which is the equivalent to UK 10. But these seem all right. They're just like a little short with pockets on the side maybe i should take a black aligned top just so that i can be in fully in a full black outfit it's just the exact same but in black we'll take that as an option instead night two second night is boho themed so i picked this up from abercrombie now i thought at first when i picked it up it was a dress but it's actually a skirt. it's got um uh, more like a play suit it's got shorts on underneath so it is double layered, it's got pockets as well, which I love. It's just very floaty, linen, nice, like comfy fabric that I think will be perfect for boho. And because we're doing like old town, more relaxed, we'll have been at the beach club all day. I'm thinking flats. I thought I would take these flats because they're really, really pretty. And again, these are Primark, but look how glitzy they are. And even if it's sparkle night, for whatever reason, some are in flats and I want to be comfy, then instead of these heels, which I do think I would prefer to wear the heels with that dress to be honest with you, but if I didn't want to and people were going more cash, then these are a great option as well for that. So I'll take these anyway. Oh, they're cushioned and when I stood it went <laughs> It made a little sound. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can. Anyway, for my laptop or like handbag I'm taking through as hand luggage, I'm going 
gonna take this Chloe bag because it's quite generously sized. So inside here, what I usually do when I travel is I take this bag, um, but I can use this as a beach bag then. I can also use this as a bag to pop within my handbag. So I'll keep the glitzy one in the suitcase as night out option. But then for a handbag, so that I've got an option during the day to wear like a crossbody bag, maybe my, actually my black Chanel bag. So I'll probably wear this as a crossbody bag for the second night, yeah, because the black it goes quite nicely. But I'll have in here all my valuables, like my passport money and things, and pop that within there so it's a lot um, more contained within this bag what's going through the airport. I'm thinking I might also just as another option and also one that I could wear during the day. Take my new sandals that I got from Chloe. Just a simple sandal with Chloe written on. I won't be able to wear it with the Chloe bag though because the Chloe bag that I went for is black. I had a couple of you asking me about sizing for these sandals because I have worn them previously. I've got, oops, I've got these cream colored ones which are in the sale now. You get about 100 pounds off these. I could even take these ones actually because they will go with this bag if I wanted to wear them. Oh yeah, maybe that's a better option. The only thing with these is they're a little bit grubby. They're not horrendous, but I just noticed that they're not as fresh as what they what they once were. So I could take those as an option instead. I wear a 40, so I size up to a seven, even though I'm a sort of six to a six and a half, because they do run, especially if you have wide feet, they do run a little small. Yeah, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking we save those nice new Chloe's and I can even then wear these shoes to the beach club because they are a little bit more grubby I'm going to be less precious about these you know being near pool water and stuff so we're getting options slightly whittled down and then the third day it's a in the hotel by the pool kind of day so I'm just going to be probably sat by the pool most of the day and we're flying home that evening we get back about nine ish now because we are traveling the flight there and I suppose the flight back with it being evening but the flight there especially it's from England is I mean we're setting off about 4 a.m so it's going to be cold fairly cold I would have thought so maybe joggers. I kind of wanted to wear trainers so that I can walk. Oh, that's someone at the front door. I'm gonna answer in a dress, even though it's tipping it down outside. <laughs> One second. Oh my God. <laughs> so I got to the front of the door, opened it obviously in a summer's dress whilst it's quite miserable a day outside. So yeah, inappropriate I would say. Um, attire for today anyway. This guy was just asking for recommendation for our bricklayer because he likes the work that we had done at the front. And I said, oh, I'll take your number and send you, send you his number over. But when he answered the door, he went, oh, wow. <laughs> Wasn't he expecting such a pretty lady to open the door? <laughs> I just need a travel outfit now, which I can even decide the day before. Just trainers, I definitely want to wear in case we might be walking over to the yoga, which is about an hour's walk, or maybe even jogging, who knows. So if we do end up walking, I just want to make sure I've got trainers as opposed to, well, just as an option. But having looked at this, I'm not even taking my Birkenstocks and they're the ones that are comfy to have a good exploring all day. I'll travel in leggings rather than joggers. Leggings, t-shirt, maybe a blazer, so they've got a blazer in, as an option in an evening. I've got a couple of options I could take. Okay, so looking off that, I would say this one will probably be better. Even just throw it over the shoulder. Little blazer to throw on if I feel like I need to need to wear that and then again that colour will go fine with the black silky number if I want to wear a blazer on that first night and it will also go with my travel outfit my travel bag it's all coming together okay we'll leave this blazer out then as an option another option would be to wear blazer and shorts I have blazer trousers okay this set that i got from tesco so i've got the matching blazer trousers so i wouldn't need to take the trousers but also there's shorts there as well so yeah this could be another option the only thing with this as much as i love this outfit in fact this top is also from tesco's um and i love the color of this blazer as well i might even take that as the different as the blazer but anyway as i was saying as a full um outfit 
for boho night. I think boho is better suited to a dress. So that lighter linen Abercrombie option, I think, is the better option. And I've just got on the little sparkly sandals with them as well. But again, the Birkenstocks would work with these. The Chloe sandals would work with this outfit. But yeah, on this occasion, I'm just going to stick with the Abercrombie dress. We are only going for those few days, so with hand luggage as well. So I don't want to be packing too many options, but this could be a nice option for when we go to COS. This could be a nice city break outfit idea. This would have been nice in Seville. <laughs> there we go. Now I've absolutely made this room into a bit of a tip. It's one of those things that I'm probably gonna just leave it, close the door in a second, come back to it maybe tomorrow um, before I actually pack away some bits. But I just thought I would show you some of the minis that I'm taking with it being hand luggage only. Shampoo and conditioners. I've got these which I got free recently when I put in a um, Space and K order. So we've got Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, Whey shampoo and conditioner. But then I also have this, my mini purple shampoo. Uh, these are perfect little size. So for a double shampoo, I'll take those. Then what else have I got? I've got the Color Wow Dream Coat in a mini. It's a little mini Gizu oil to take. Deodorant. I've got two makeup removers. I've got my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, but then I also have this from Bobbi Brown, which is a makeup remover. And then also as a little mini toner. How cute is this? My Pixie Glow Tonic Toner that I love to use. A couple of makeup minis. We've got mini mascara that I can throw in and an Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And then also a little mini bobby brown vitamin enriched face face why are there miniatures just so cute it's like miniature miniatures of products that i use on a day-to-day -day basis i mean i can't go over them a dry shampoo is obligatory for me so i've got the living proof perfect hair day to take with me toothpaste got some paracetamol ibuprofen i usually take an antihistamine one as well because sometimes I can get sensitive skin on holiday with heat and get prickly heat and heat rash. If you've ever suffered with it, you know it's the most annoying thing. Or bites as well. If I get insect bites, I can they can flare up to like that big on me. So I always usually just like to take some antihistamines with me. So I'll get some from downstairs. Then I've been using these on spots lately. Mighty patch. Pop it on at night, go to bed, wake up in the morning, take it off. And yeah, I've been enjoying those. So this is just like a little miniature pack. Also, I had these arrive this morning that I thought I'd just show you. Ciate very kindly sent me a little PR package, which I've opened up already. This one I've actually used today and because I was intrigued, I thought, let me try it out. And it is really nice. It's called the Dewy Stick. I see a bit of my foundation on it, but it's essentially like a balm. If I pop a bit on so that you can see, can you see the dewiness and hydration? That it gives you skin so if you just pop that on the high points of your face which is what i've done today it just kind of adds like a almost balm highlight to your skin it does it feels like a balm as well it feels almost like a little bit like vaseline e like a hybrid between a vaseline and a highlighter but yeah i just really liked it i thought even at for no makeup days to just add a bit of this for a bit of a dewy complexion. So I might take that with me as well. And what else did they send? A microblade brow with three tiny little prongs on it. So it almost allows you to brush hair strokes on in threes. And like brush strokes, that's probably gonna be too warm for me. And what's this? It's the perfecting putty. I don't know why I said that so strangely. Perfecting putty. It's a mattifying balm. It comes in this little pot. Oh yeah, it feels almost like powdery when you pop it on. This is called their Olive Nine Piece Eyeshadow Palette. A greeny warm shades. Is that like sparkly green? It's kind of got gold flecks in it. You see almost like an iridescent shade, that one. That's that one. And then there's a gold right next to it. Couple of other shades, but yeah, really pretty. I think Tom's been talking about going for a little bit of a jog. I think he's gonna run to Wilms though. I'm gonna meet him then, and then we're gonna run around. We quite often do our dog walks at Wilms cars. Really just so easy for Barney. Lots of swimming for him to do, and yeah, so he can be off lead whilst we go for a run. I'll do like a 5K. Gay? <laughs> 5k so yeah that's the plan because the thing is with running two wilmslow cars it's on main roads and i don't like to run with the dog on a main road the dog with barney on a main road 
it's just I, I much prefer if we're on a run that I can just let him off off lead and he can like run alongside us dart off go swimming don't do what he needs to do oh my throat made a really strange noise then so anyway that's the plan and then before we head back and balance it out with a pizza and pasta has been delivered well by Tom Tom went and got a pizza we've made a pasta is this the butternut oh, no, squash. squash one with some like uh, walnuts that we've done a little side salad and we're gonna watch black phone on Netflix my choice of movie and then Tom's got a choice that's what we do <laughs> just take it in turn but yeah we're gonna just chill out for the rest of the night have a lovely rest of our evening and that's us that's us done. Successful, productive day, I think. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you have. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, in the next one. Bye, guys.